What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video. This time we're taking a look at Fallout 4, finally. This one has been rough for the past few days to kind of test and figure out, and what I wound up doing is having to do kind of a how to fix the overlay and get to the launcher, uh, the graphics options of the game before anything else. So rather than a normal performance video, I decided to make something a little different. But anyways, let's kind of get into it here. Now this launcher that allows you to change your settings, your graphic settings in here, doesn't automatically come up. There's a line of code we need for launch options for that, and I'll show that here in the video so that you can at least get to this launcher prior to getting into the game and adjust your settings when you want to. Now, when this update came out, launched into it, and there's all kind of issue with the frame time to counter, right? And the, the V-Sync and all that. And we're really running at about half that FPS. Once I fixed this with the overlay command here for the launch options, I was able to see the actual FPS I was getting. I even had to spend some time doing my own FPS counting and my own software and stuff here um, with just checking the lossless footage from the Steam Deck to make sure everything was accurate. It was just so good goofy getting performance for this game. I had to go a lot of different directions to make sure what was going on. But yeah, things were definitely funky in the first couple of days trying to get this working right and, and see the true performance. And I figured I would just share these fixes here and uh, you can at least be able to get in, change your graphics options and see the actual performance that you should be getting in the game. Now, just to note, you should probably lock this to 60 FPS or less because honestly, Fallout 4 has never liked running over 60 and it can have its own little issues, but that's just something to keep on your mind and make note of. Now let's go ahead and go to desktop mode because that's where we're going to go ahead and do this, these uh, fixes for the overlay and for getting into those graphics options. And once we're here on desktop mode, we'll come down here to the Dolphin File Manager. I'm going to come over here to Home and then to Deck. And now we're going to create a text file in here. I already have mine, but I'll show you what to do here. So we're going to go to uh, right click in here and we're going to do Create New, Create New Text File here. We can go ahead and click OK. We'll rename this in a second. And we're going to want to put one line of code in this new text file. So open this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the one I already made so you can see what to type in here. But you're just going to type in this one line. All right. And that's going to be DXGI dot sync S Y N C capital I for interval space equals space one. This is going to take care of the overlay issue and seeing the proper performance, at least the text file. We'll point to this in a minute. You also need to rename that text file, get rid of the dot text and everything and name it the fallout four dot C O N F just like I have here. And that'll get you ready to go um, for steam. And we'll, we'll point to this in the launch option. So we can go ahead and close that once we're done and everything's saved in there. And we're going to go ahead and come down here to the Steam library, and we're going to go into Fallout 4. So library, let me expand this out here. Fallout 4. We're going to go to our gear icon here. We'll go to properties. And then right here in general, we have our launch options. I've already typed this in, um, but what you're going to have here is all caps DXVK underscore CONFIG for config underscore file FILE equals forward slash home forward slash deck forward slash fallout4.conf for that file we just made. So that's going to get you going on the overlay fix. Next, we do a space and we have steam deck equals zero space percent command percent. This is going to bring up the launcher that allows you to change the graphics options before you go into the game. So these two fixes combined will at least make it to where we can change graphic options and see proper performance and everything in the game, or at least what appears to be from everything I can tell. Now go back over to game mode, go into my properties again, just verify everything's here and we're good to go. So we can go ahead and get launched into Fallout and we shouldn't have the same goofy looking overlay and that type of thing. And of course we can go into our graphics options now when we launch the game. And yeah, this works out pretty well to show me the proper performance we were, uh, were actually getting at different settings. This is still on Ultra. It's pretty much what I was playing in most of the game. I also mess with some medium uh, if you want a higher frame rate. But again, should probably lock to 60 in this game if you do don't want to run 30 or 40. And you can see here I had the, uh, the update going before the fix, my count here in the middle, and then after all the fixes over on the right here just to show you those three uh, running next to each other. But yeah, again, I think all Ultimately, cap this game to 30, 40, 60, whatever you want to do to kind of help things out there. It never has run great on PC at over 60 and can exhibit some of its own issues. So again, that's just something to keep in mind if you have trouble running this uncapped. But I did want to show it this way because on medium here, depending on where you're at in the game, it will go over 60. So if you don't want that to happen, you might want to cap it. But with this fixed, with the overlay looking proper, with the launcher coming up to change settings ahead of time and all that at least, you're able to change your settings, you're able to see the proper performance, tweak the game how you want, and have it running and looking a little bit better. At least it feels better to me here. 
Alright guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.